Welcome everyone, I'm Teresa Sigmund and I am delighted that you decided to join us for this five day Design Like a Pro Challenge, which focuses on designing a dance sport, country or line dance ball gown, be it a smooth or standard style. Now this challenge is specifically for curvy women or maybe blossoming teenagers who are tired of trying to wear dresses that make them feel fat or uncomfortable and just they don't you know you don't feel good in it or maybe you just want to save time and money over the constant search for the perfect dress that does not exist of course right i'm so glad you're here because my specialty with my so like a pro members is helping curvy women Cur we're not like children we're not like you know, super lean ultra athletes. We have curves and sometimes designing a dress to flatter those curves can be a challenge. So that is one of the things that we are going to tackle during this five day challenge is how to learn to design a ball gown, which design elements flatter your figure instead of making you feel frumpy. I have a lot of information planned for us in the next five days, we're going to cover something that I like to call neckline success. And I'm going to give you homework so that you can determine which necklines look good on you and which ones make you look older and not as shapely as you would like. And yes, there are very specific things that work and don't work for everybody's shape. I'm going to talk about which colors look good on you, how you can determine that and why you should do it for your ball gown and not just for street clothes. But a tip though, both of those homeworks, neckline success and your color really do work in everyday clothing. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about which body parts are symmetrical and asymmetrical because we're humans, we are not perfectly balanced. How we can emphasize the body parts that you like and de-emphasize the body parts that you consider bad. But they're just body parts, it really depends on what clothing you wear. I'm going to teach you how to create a custom sketch ladies because one of the things that we all, all we women deal with because we're such different shapes from these very elongated sketch ladies that most designers use, nothing that you draw on there is going to look like you in real life. So when I teach you how to make a custom sketch lady, it makes a world of difference because then you can learn how to tweak your design to suit your body shape and size. I'm also going to teach you a lot about design elements because breaking down the design elements and knowing what all the categories are and what looks good on your neckline, your symmetrical or asymmetrical body, all of that stuff all comes down to which design elements should you wear and why. So we're gonna talk about sleeves, skirts, the skirt attachment line, which I consider crucial for a slimming a woman's tummy, waist, and rib cage. Um, also, we're going to talk about uh, front and back necklines, some of which will be covered in the neckline success homework. Focal points, how you can use focal points or decorations in order to, again, accentuate the positive and de-emphasize areas that you don't want to draw attention to, such as maybe wide hips or around tummy. There's going to be all sorts of downloads for you. There'll be questionnaires that you can use for every dress sketch. There will be other PDF downloads, again, that you can use every time you design a dress. They're also going to be um, something that I particularly love. I came up with this as supplemental training for my Sew Like a Pro sewing school, and it's called Dress Breakdowns. No, it's not a costume meltdown. <laughs> A dress breakdown is sort of the art and science of learning to look at your inspiration photos and to be able to break down all of those design elements that I just mentioned so that you can say, oh, well, I don't really love that entire dress. I really just like these two particular design elements. Because a lot of times when we're looking at a dress, just kind of like buying a car or buying a house, you don't like everything about it, but yet you're so overwhelmed with the process, you can't choose what it is that you truly like and what's good for your needs. So a dress breakdown teaches you how to do that and you can use it time and time again every time you have an inspiration dress. Q&A excerpts 
are going to also be part of your daily regimen here. And I love doing the live Q&A calls with the So Like a Pro School. But every day I'm going to give you an excerpt just from when I was working one-on-one -on -one or with the group. And we'll be talking about designing ball gowns for different shaped women and why things work and why things don't work. So again, part of your daily training. In addition to all of that, you get me live for an hour every day. And you know, there could be a lot of us on the phone call and I'll pick a topic each day and we're going to run through that topic and I'll, hopefully we'll have a chance to be able to open it up for live Q and A's. And there is a lot planned. I am super excited about it because I love the live element of this. And I really am looking forward to seeing your photos, to seeing your neckline success homework, to seeing your custom sketches. Ugh, we have so much planned. I'll see you on the inside. Go visit day zero because that is your first homework that'll keep you busy until the, um, the five day challenge actually starts shortly. All right, I'm looking forward to it and I'll see you again another time. Bye, see you soon.